Hey everyone, we are now on video number two in this series on introduction to differential equation. This time, let's talk about our homework from our first video. We are going to solve this given differential equation by direct integration. So let's work on this together. The problem is dy over dx is equal to e raised to 2x, find the value of the function y of x. So we are going to solve for y in this equation. Based on our discussion in our previous lesson, we said that if the form of the differential equation is you have the derivative equals a function where the right side only contains the dependent variable, then we can solve this by direct integration. So we now take the integral of both sides of the equation. So we have the integral of e raised to 2x dx. Then integration and finding the derivative of a function are inverse operations. So the left side will result to the function y of x or y. And the right side is the antiderivative of e raised to 2x dx. Notice that our exponent here is another function. The outer function is e raised to that exponent. The inner function is the exponent 2x. When we have an integration problem like this, we can solve this by u substitution. So we now let u be equal to the exponent 2x. Therefore, this becomes y equals the antiderivative of e raised to u. We still have the dx. What we want is to have the form e to the u du. Therefore, we still need to rewrite this dx in terms of the differential du. So from here, let's find du over dx, and that is equal to the derivative of 2x, which is equal to 2. What we want is an expression for dx. Technically, du over dx is not a fraction. The operation here is d over dx of the function u. But one good thing here is we can operate here as if du over dx is a fraction so that you can solve this in terms of dx. So think of this as a fraction, then multiply both sides by dx and divide both sides by 2. We have dx is equal to 1 half du. And we are now going to replace this dx by this 1 half du. So we now have y equals, let's put the 1 half outside the integration symbol. So we have the antiderivative of e raised to u. Instead of dx, we have 1 half du. So the du is now written here. Now our next problem is to find the antiderivative of e to the u du. But we can use the formula. The formula for the antiderivative of the exponential e to the u du is equal to a to the u over ln of the absolute value of a plus c. And from here, if we let a be equal to the natural number e, then this becomes the antiderivative of e to the u du equals our a is now e, e to the u over ln of the absolute value of e, which you know is a positive number. So we can just write this as ln of e plus c. But what is the ln of e? Again, these are inverse operations that cancel each other out. So ln of e is simply 1. And therefore, this is just equal to e to the u plus c. That means we can now replace this part here by e to the u plus c. So we now have y equals 1 half times this one e to the u plus c. And this is now the general solution to our given differential equation, dy over dx is equal to e raised to 2x. Now to check if our answer is correct, we just have to reverse the process. So what we now have is we begin with the solution that we arrive at, y is equal to e raised to 2x over 2 plus c. Then we take the derivative of both sides. So d over dx, we write here d over dx of this function. So what we now have is dy over dx is equal to the sum of the derivatives of each of these two terms. So the derivative of e to the 2x over 2 is equal to the function e 
raised to 2x over 2 times the derivative of the inner function using the chain rule. So the derivative of 2x is 2. And the derivative of a constant is, of course, 0. So finally, we have dy over dx is equal to 2 divided by 3 is 1. We have e raised to 2x. And notice that this is exactly what we have at the start. So it's verified that our answer is correct. So our final answer to this differential equation is y equals e raised to 2x over 2 plus c. That's the answer to our homework.